Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. So today we have gone on a big shop to Zara Home. Our local one is High Street Kensington in London. And there are so many amazing products right now. And I've been really enjoying lots of color recently, which they seem to have introduced a lot into their collection. So I thought I'd show you around the store everything new in, and then we'll come back here and run through a haul of the pieces that I picked out today. I'm not really looking for anything in particular today, but have had my eye on a few things online, starting with this white kitchen collection, which is so beautiful. And I love how kind of uniform and organized everything feels. It's numbered and then has a description of what it is as well, which I understand quite a lot of people might not like, but I really like that feature. And I also loved these jars. I love the illustrations on the top. Although for me, I think I would like to have those products in them. And I know that I'm not gonna have that many carrots or chilies regularly. So so didn't pick any of those up but I really love this kind of kitchen area in general we have needed a new spoon rest because ours is still in storage after having recently moved and we also need a new oil drizzler so I really like these two I just really love all of this kind of kitchen where I think it's so nice to keep the inside of your cabinets looking as nice as you would the rest of your home I definitely want to add more colourful crockery into our home and I think Zara has some really great options that aren't too expensive whether you're looking for decorative plates for the walls or for hosting and they had lots of colourful coasters and placemats as well that I think really complemented these. I really liked the kind of wobbly edge of these plates and I think these would honestly be perfect hung in the wall if you're looking for some more textural shapes and they're handmade so for $12.99 I didn't think that was too badly priced and loved lots of the other glassware as well if you're a bit of a neutral lover like I am or if you love a more colorful home I really like a lot of these kind of smaller candles that they have and then the cushions and baskets like this to add a pop of color to your interior I really like these candle holders here. I think they'd be really beautiful as a collection of three, maybe two smaller and the taller for dinner parties. And then we went downstairs to have a look at more of the bedding collection because we're looking at updating our small bedroom, which is currently a blank canvas. And I really loved this quilt or bedspread, which was around 200 pounds. And then as always, the Zara home candle and diffuser collection is great. I've had a couple in my time and I've always really loved them. Loved this rechargeable lamp as always and a pop of red never goes amiss in an interior, whether you've got a more, more colorful home or you've got something a bit more neutral, it always makes it look a lot better designed. There's a few more diffusers. I really like these spray bottles for room sprays and absolutely loved the vessels for these candles. I thought the leather cross hatch kind of design weave effect was really lovely, though they were on the pricier side, but I guess you could reuse the glass jar and the holder too. I really loved this lamp as well and thought it would work in a lot of different interiors. It has two bulbs, so it would probably let off a really lovely light if you chose the right bulb. And then I thought these picture frames were really beautiful and simple as well and could be a nice way to display family photos. We headed downstairs to have a look at the collection down there. We're really lucky that our local store is so big. I was obsessed with this table. I think it's so cute and interesting, but I'm not sure we have anywhere for it, unfortunately. These marble plates were great and would look great in a bathroom, and I thought this lamp was adorable. We are going to be getting some new towels and bath mats and holders for toothbrushes and soap etc soon so it was really nice to have a look and lots of the pieces that were in were really heavily patterned or 
had kind of floral edging to them. There weren't many white, simple towels. They all kind of had like this, either a stripe of blue or some kind of color blocking to them. And I really loved all of these smaller luxury accessories as well, like the hairbrush and this fish comb I thought was very cool. And I hadn't seen anything like that before. I really loved this bobbin mirror and actually thought it was a reasonable price as well. And I'll leave all of these pieces linked down below in the description in case you are interested. I thought these were very adorable, again, really organic looking and really fun if you're looking to add a pop of colour or I think they would work really well in a kid's room hung on the wall as well if you go for a kind of beachy seaside theme and I thought these were really cute at identifying whose glass is whose if you have guests. If you're new here, we recently moved to London into a rental apartment which is quite different to our last home. It's a lot more modern and it has a lot more natural light which means that it can take some brighter colours I think and so like I said and like you will have seen in lots of the pieces in Zara home, I wanted to do an order that kind of added more texture and colour and more playfulness into our home and hopefully you'll like lots of the pieces as well. Completely understand if it's not your cup of tea but I'm trying to show a variety of the things I like from colourful more playful stuff and then more textural earthy neutral pieces as well like I've always done in the past. So some of the items that I picked up were from the store and some I ordered online because I couldn't see them in store. So to start off, I'm going to go through some of the table pieces that I picked up. So the first thing that I got was these napkins. They were $9.99 for a pack of two and they are 45 centimeters by 45 centimeters. They have this really lovely kind of red border to them and then they have an illustration of a fruit bowl on them as well. I just thought they were really nice. I love the pop of red and thought they'd be really great for hosting dinners or um, just to kind of have on the side. I thought they looked very cute. So got those. Um, the next thing I got which was also in the sale from $12.99 to $9.99 was these placemats which have a kind of checkered gingham pattern but in a red green and olive colorway um, and then where the grid overlaps on the gingham it kind of changes to a darker color but i really liked the color palette here for autumn and like i said i'm wanting to introduce a bit more color and depth into our home because it's a pretty white canvas and being in a rental apartment i want to add more personality so really loved those and then very similar or part of the same range i got this tablecloth and you can see the pattern is slightly smaller on the placemats compared to the tablecloth but i thought it would look really nice with kind of some white pieces to break them up some like different chargers some different glasses and um, i really love this and it was also in the sale i can't remember exactly how much it was but I think, yeah, full price, it was 40. I think maybe it was 10 pounds off, so a pretty good price, and it feels like good quality as well. So yeah, I'll let you know, or show you in a future video how that will look styled in our house. And then some other tableware pieces that I picked up were these glass straws. These were 15 99 they were from the new in collection and they all come in different colors so there's a pink a lilac a yellow an orange and then a darker green and a lighter green and i thought these would be a really good idea for when you have friends over to kind of know whose glasses is who it's obviously a set of six so you could get two packets of these or they actually had some different ones as well um, but I thought, yeah, it would make it a lot easier to know whose glass is whose. It's unlikely that we'd have more than six people over for dinner and drinks, so that will work perfectly for us. And their glass as well, which I thought was really nice. And again, I just liked the playfulness of them um, and thought it was a really nice touch for hosting. Very similar to the straws, I got these, I don't know what you call them, I think, yeah, glass markers. Again, these were the new in summer collection. They are 12 99 and 
They are used to kind of loop around the stem of a wine glass and I went for the kind of under the sea collection but they had lots of different ones so they had fruit, they had... What else was that? I think there was a different kind of sea life one, but they were all a similar colour and I liked that these ones were all quite different and my favourite film's The Little Mermaid, so I thought that was, yeah, really cute again for when guests come over. I think I will probably have the starfish because I think that's cute. And those were 12 99 as well. Also serveware related, I was slightly disappointed by this. I'll tell you why, but I dropped it yesterday. <coughs> there and it's not glass so I mean that's a good thing because I dropped it it didn't break but it's kind of somewhere between plastic and glass I would say but it says water on in this kind of like glue gun writing in the coloured letters again I really loved that kind of how simple it was and you can get really similar stuff to this in a lot more expensive shops this one this was in the sale, I had to order it online because it wasn't in store, but I think it was around £10. Um, I'll leave anything that's still available down below, but yeah, it definitely had some discount on, but thought it was really nice for summery dinner parties with friends. Um, obviously you can use it all year round, and the thing I loved about this was its size. I thought online it was much smaller, but you could definitely fit a lot of water in there. I'm not sure how much exactly, but... Um, yeah, thought it was perfect for that. I picked up some tea towels. I've needed some new ones for a while, but I wanted to try a few different types. So the first two I got were these. So one of them is a blue check with a red border. The other is a red check with a blue border. Um, I will pop the price on screen. I think these were just full price and I really like the pop of colour that they'll add to our kitchen and, and the red obviously being quite warming and red's actually a really good colour for kitchens, that's like a known thing in the design industry. Um, it's like quite good for your appetite and it feels kind of wholesome and warming which you want especially in autumn winter so yeah really looking forward to popping those out. Um, but the, the texture of these, I'm not sure what they're made of if it says on the label, let me just check. Ah, uh, there we go, 100% cotton. So those I think won't be so good at absorbing lots of water, but I got this one as well, which our new kitchen is a, quite a dark gray color. It's two tones, so light on top, gray on the bottom. And I thought this would be much better at kind of absorbing all the water when doing drying up. Um, and it's a really good size as well for a tea towel, which you don't see that often. You know, a lot of them are quite small and it has just like a normal towel texture compared to the more like muslin cloth of those ones. So yeah, I'll definitely do a test and let you know which one is more absorbent, but yeah, got those. And then I got this cushion cover for my bed which I really, really love. I love the colours in there. It's a kind of bluey green, I'd say kind of like a muddy, muddy blue, somewhere between olive and like a, a warm blue colour with an ochre colour and then a rust as well. And then the cream being the predominant colour. The back is more of an olive colour, um, like an olive grey colour and the price was $39.99 so definitely not a cheap cushion but I just wanted one for the centre of the bed and I was going to get a pair before but I just kind of want to simplify our life and the way we're styling our home just with individual pieces we love and I really loved the colours in there and I thought it was a nice way to add a pop of colour to fresh white bedding so really happy with that one and I'll get an insert and show you all of these pieces in next week's video. And then the final thing I picked up is this rechargeable lamp. So it's obviously a very vibrant red. I already have this lamp in the brass finish, which I absolutely love and it's still available. But like I've said, I've wanted to add kind of some pops of colour and be a bit more fun and playful in our decor. Now that we're living in more of a vibrant, modern, contemporary environment. And I love these lights. They come with a charging cable. They have different light settings. So I think there's one, two, three, and off. 
Um, it just plugs in underneath, it's really easy and from experience the battery lasts quite well. I'm not sure exactly how long it is or if it says but I think we have had ours on kind of for the whole evenings, maybe like eight, 10 hours without charging them and they've lasted, um, which is really great for such a small light. And yeah, I really recommend them. I love a rechargeable lamp and loads of different shops obviously do good ones like Pookie, John Lewis if you're in the UK, Dunelm have some great options as well. So definitely check those out, but I really do like this color somewhere between like red and maybe a slightly coral orange pink color, but absolutely love that one. And I thought the price was pretty good too. I think it was around 30 pounds. Again, I'll pop the price on the screen now. So that is everything that I picked up in Zara Home and hopefully you enjoyed having a look around the shop as well. If there is anywhere else you want to see us do a video like this from, please comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please do consider it. We do lots of different homeware hauls and come shopping with us. And we do weekly vlogs as well. Thank you very much for watching and looking forward to seeing you soon.